glad you're joining me here today in these beautiful woods. You know, I was pretty disappointed when I heard that camp was cancelled this year because of coronavirus, and I'll bet you were too. So, I decided that I would have my own personal camp. So here I am, all ready to camp out. If you listen carefully, you can hear the birds singing, and you can even hear my fire crackling. I'm calling my camp, Camp Explore More. I'm going to have fun exploring the woods this summer, and I'm going to have fun exploring God's Word and seeing what He wants to teach me. Now, even though you can't be here with me in person, I want to invite you to join me online every Sunday morning over the summer at Camp Explore More. God has so many amazing things to teach us together. One of the things I'm going to do at Camp Explore More is lots of hiking. I love being in the woods and seeing all the beautiful things that God has created in nature. And because I'm going to be exploring places that I've never been before, it's important for me to take along a good old-fashioned compass. A compass is an instrument that we can use to keep track of the direction we're heading in. It lets us know which way, well, let me get this right here, okay, I gotta, I'm still practicing. It lets us know which way is north, which way is south, which way is east, and which way is west. Obviously, I'm going to have to keep practicing with my compass because I don't want to get lost when I'm hiking. No one wants to get lost because getting lost can be scary. Have you ever been lost? Well, maybe you were accidentally separated from your mom or dad when you were in a large store. Or maybe you were in an amusement park and your mom and dad were lost in the crowd and you couldn't find them. Or maybe you went hiking with your family and your mom and dad went one way and you went the other way. That feeling of lost or being separated from our parents is scary. In our Bible story today, we're going to hear about a lost sheep. Now, I don't know if the sheep was scared about being lost, but the loving shepherd wasn't going to leave his sheep all on its own. Our big idea for today is, God is love. So I know that God loves me. Our story is from the book of Luke, chapter 15. Luke is is the third book of the New Testament. And here's where our story fits into the big God story timeline. The Bible is the word of God and everything in the Bible is true and God uses the Bible to teach us and to speak to us. So let's listen very carefully to what he has to say today as we explore this story. One day, while Jesus was teaching, many tax collectors and others who were considered sinners by the Jewish people were gathered around listening to him teach. The Pharisees and teachers of the law were not happy about this and began to whisper among themselves, Look, this man welcomes sinners and even eats with them. Then Jesus began to tell them a story about a shepherd. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep, but loses just one of them. Won't he leave the ninety-nine other sheep alone and go out and look for the lost sheep? The man will keep on searching for the lost sheep until he finds it. And when he finds it, he will be very happy. He will put it on his shoulders and go home. He will go home and call to his friends and neighbors saying, Be happy with me because I found my lost sheep. Then Jesus said, I tell you, in the same way, there is much joy in heaven when one sinner changes their heart and turns away from their sin. There is more joy for that one sinner than there is for the 99 godly people who don't need to change. What a great story. 
This parable that Jesus told us reminds us that we're like lost sheep. When we do wrong things and disobey, that's called sin. And sin separates us from God, who is love and who loves us deeply. We're just wandering around like that poor little lost sheep. But when we turn away from our sin that separates us from God, and we ask Jesus to come into our hearts and forgive us for the wrong things we've done, we don't have to worry about being lost anymore. We become a member of God's family. Jesus becomes our shepherd, and he brings us into our fa his family so that we can spend all eternity with him in heaven. When he becomes our shepherd, we can then truly experience his love for us, and he helps us to live for him while we're still here on earth. Let's pray. God, I thank you that Jesus is our shepherd. And thank you that you want each one of us to become a part of your family. If there is a boy or girl listening this morning that has not yet asked Jesus to come into their hearts and to forgive them for their sins, I pray that today would be the day that they would do that. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, I hope that if you have never asked Jesus into your heart, you'll think about doing that today. And if you want some help with that, I encourage you to talk to your mom or dad. Now, we have a Bible memory verse that we're going to look at today. So here's our memory verse. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pasture. John 10, 9. In this verse, Jesus is the one talking. So if Jesus is saying that he's the gate, that means that he is the only way in. There's no other way to become a part of God's family than through Jesus, his son. Jesus is our shepherd and he is the gate. Well, that's it for today at Camp Explore More. I hope you will join me again next week for more Bible exploration. I'll be right here next to my campfire waiting for you in the forest. And remember, God loves you, and this camper does too. <laughs>